Welcome to Webstyle Press. Do you want to use Mistral AI but in your own application for free? Do you want to create your own apps with Mistral AI for free? In this video, I will guide you through how can you do that using Mistral AI API for free. API is application programming interface. This is how it works. You get the API key from provider. Hit a provided URL with your request. It will respond back with the data that you requested. You use that data in your application. Simple. APIs cost, but we have a way to use free API. This is Mistral AI, Mistral.ai. They have a multimodal free chatbot as well. A chat.mistral.ai. Mistral AI is an artificial intelligence startup by former researchers from Google DeepMind and Meta platforms. The company focuses on developing open source and commercial AI models, emphasizing efficiency and multilingual capabilities. Mistral AI has released AI models which are designed to be both powerful and accessible for customization and deployment. They also launched LeadChat, an AI assistant capable of generating responses at a rate of up to 1000 words per second, positioning it as one of the fastest AI assistants available out there. We can use this AI from this interface for free, but our goal is to use their AI in our own website or in our app. So to do that, search open router. It will take you to this website, openrouter.ai. It provides API key for free. Create free account with them and then generate a free API key. From here, keys. I have got this API key that's unlimited. We can also create more API keys by clicking this button. Don't use my key, get yourself a new key because I will use this key for this tutorial and then I will delete it. Okay, after you get the key on this side, search Mistral. You better go to this page models and here search for Mistral. From here, select pricing low to high and here we have got it mistral 7b instruct free 108 million tokens so click at this at this page click api click typescript and this is the javascript implementation we've got python implementation here as well but we'll work with this you will need api key from open router this api key is from open router not from mistral Open router is allowing you to use other services through it via a free API key. I hope it makes sense. Okay, so this is the code that we have to use. Here we have to use our API key. And this is model name that we have to use. I will copy exact same name. I have already created an example page where I used JavaScript to implement this. I will link the full tutorial to build this little app in description. Here I will just explain its working and modify it for our requirement. I used Bootstrap for a little bit of styling. And here I used Marked CDN. Usually we get Markdown based response from these services. So I used Marked library to convert response into HTML. In CSS style, I am modifying response for better look and feel. In the HTML, I have got an input field. I have got a button. And I have got a response div. In the response div, response will be injected. And this button has got this send message function on click of this button. So on click of this button, this async function will be fired. And inside that function, we are getting input and response div. And we are checking if input is not empty. If it's not empty, then we'll proceed here and it will show loading text in the response div. And this text will also be replaced by the real response that we'll get from the API. So here is that functionality in try catch block. Catch block will catch the errors. In try block, we have got a const response that is using fetch and URL is this one. This code is exactly that same code that we got from here. So this is our API key. And this is the model that we have to replace and use Mistral model here. And then for the messages, role user, content input that we typed in this input box. And here we are storing the data in response.json, response from here. 
and then this is console log to see the data and here from the data we are extracting content data dot choices dot message dot content and that data is being converted from markdown to html and then inserted into response div and this question and period is optional chaining operator in javascript it allows you to safely access deeply nested properties of an object without causing an error if any part of the chain is null or undefined let's save this code and here is the chatbot let's give it a go let's ask something and here is the response from mr and this response i guess it's not markdown based yeah there's no markdown in it just the text just the data wordpress or shopify which one is better at this time this response is not markdown based but it throws a little bit of html in it so that's all right the so both wordpress and shopify are popular platforms for building websites so this response is better than quinn in my opinion less than llama but it's all right difference between javascript and java this time it's markdown based so we are receiving kind of mixed response java and javascript are two separate program languages name platform syntax use case performance object oriented programming but anyways it works we are receiving data from mr lai for free by using free api key from open router you can create chatbots and ai applications by using this technique okay i hope it helped like share subscribe and i will see you in the next one